Could you imagine the rock band Queen being called anything other than Queen? Before Freddie Mercury joined the band, the group was called Smile. Not sure if that was a request of the audience or for the audience. As we all know, Freddie was larger than life, and even if he didn't know it then, he exuded flamboyance, and, and you matched that up with a four-octave vocal range, and how could you be anything but Queen? When Freddie Mercury put forth the name Queen to the other members of Smile, they were a little apprehensive about it. I mean, sure, they are British, and using Queen probably had some lads thinking people are not going to like us hanging our coattails on the monarchy. I mean, this was 1970. Things were not the same as then as they are now, that's for certain. But Freddie stuck to his position, though, and he knew that he himself was larger than life, and he knew that his band would be larger than life as well. The group not only embraced rock and roll, even pushing into what was back then considered heavy metal, all while painting over everything with some glam rock camp theatrics. I'm pretty sure if Freddie didn't make it as a singer, he would have ended up in the theater for certain. You just can't keep that much life from exploding onto anything and everything they touch. In an interview with Mercury, he stated, It's very regal, obviously, and it sounds splendid. It's a strong name, very universal and immediate. I was certainly aware of the gay connotations, but that was just one facet of it. In addition to coining the band's name, he also designed the Queen's Crest that is often seen on much of the Queen's memorabilia. Evidently, he took the zodiac signs from the band members. Deacon and Taylor are both Leos, hence the two lions. A crab represented Brian May's cancer sign. And, of course, the two fairies for Freddy for being a Virgo. Uh, the zodiac signs surround a large Q in the center, which is then emblazoned by a phoenix. It also has some resemblance to the royal coat of arms of the United Kingdom. In 1991, Freddie Mercury died of bronchopneumonia as a complication of AIDS. Since his death, Queen has been inducted into numerous halls of fame, such as the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the Songwriters Hall of Fame. John Deacon retired in 1997, having been greatly affected by Mercury's death, and May and Taylor began touring as Queen, inviting the talents like Paul Rogers and Adam Lambert on lead vocals and are currently on their Rhapsody tour.